another video here. We're heading out to Turnpike again. We're heading out near Breezewood this time with a load of cattle slats. Unloading time is 8.15 a.m.
buggy sign there, so there must be Amish out here. Or Mennonite, I think it's Mennonites actually. Beautiful sunflower fields just a ways back. I'll turn the camera on for that on the way out. Just beautiful.
right we got her backed in here actually made it in one shot it was a little tight but not too bad so get the straps off ready to unload it okay so they actually need Steve first um, he's not quite here yet I'm a little early I'm about 20 minutes early so I pulled out of the way onto the dirt lane here that way I'm not in his way when he comes in so we'll wrap all the straps off actually you know what I'm gonna go out there wait for Steve and tell him what he needs to do that way he's not all confused like I was so we'll go out to the driveway here and make sure he knows what he's doing when he gets here you can see where my tires were right smack against that rebar for the sign We should have came in the other way. We could have come up 99. Then we wouldn't have had to turn around, but they probably wanted less tolls. That's why we came up 30 in this way. So we'll wait till Steve gets here and let him know what the deal is. He went up to turn around, so he'll be back here in a few minutes. You can see the truck peeking out there. So I'll come around the bend here to stop traffic. Not, not like I need to, with it being such a small back road. But people still come fast around these corners, you know. So I'll make sure there's nothing coming when he gets here. make it a little easy for him I took easier for him I took the sign out at the end of the uh, driveway so he could take a little more out of the grass so he got it in there with no problem I'll help him take the straps off I think he's just swapping trailers but I'm not sure all right got all my straps off now so they're setting the first slats getting Steve on loaded now All right, they're getting the last of the slats off of Steve's truck. And then we can back on in, get on loaded. It'll take a while to unload it. It takes a while to unload these slats, you know, because you're doing one at a time. So it takes a little bit of time. But we're not getting any reload or anything out here so we got time today it'll work
right they're wondering if I can move this trailer back there for them so I'll do that yet before we head out all right let's get this trailer back in place back beside ours and then we can unhook it switch back to our trailer again all right everything's unloaded we're out of here Andy just pulled in another load so we're out of here back to Lancaster County we go get reloaded and finish our uh, 100,000 mile service here with the trans fluid and the differentials so let's get on out of here and make that happen on the way out here I'll show you guys some more of this beautiful countryside
it's always nice delivering to farmers you know I know I said that before but it's always nice delivering to dairy farms usually easy to deal with no no uh, you know job site rules or anything like that it's like you get in you get out don't have to deal with any uh, you know crap Another reason I'm not getting a reload today is of all days I got a dentist appointment so got a dentist appointment for a cleaning today for the first time in a while so my wife was like you're not missing this one yeah, so I think she had scheduled one for me before and I ended up canceling and she scheduled it again and I can't blame her you know can't blame her so she said this time you are not canceling you're gonna stick with your appointment <laughs> so I got a 3:30 dentist appointment today and I gotta make so that's one of the reasons I'm just bringing this out going back getting ready for tomorrow and doing a little more uh, shop work here so hey it is what it is nobody's a fan of the dentist but do what you gotta do, you know. And my dad, he never really took care of his teeth, and recently he had to, you know, get them all taken out and put like the fake ones in, whatever you call it. So, yeah, he never really took care of his teeth, just kind of left them go, and you know, now he would tell you that, you know, hey, it's worth it to spend money on your teeth, get them clean every year or every half year, whatever you got going on, and uh, just take care of them a little better. So, yeah, he learned his lesson with that. All right, I just stopped on the little uh, pool off here on the turnpike eat some lunch you got a chip steak in there make ourselves a little cheese steak it's already got cheese and sauce on it and as you guys know I don't do onions or peppers or anything so cheese and sauce only on the cheese steak leftover from the cabin we were up at the cabin with my family this weekend and cooked up some steak all kinds of good stuff had a good time except I'm very sore my whole body aches this morning <laughs> we were uh, especially my legs we do a lot of biking up there because we're right by the uh, Allegheny Passage that runs from Washington DC to Pittsburgh so we do a lot of biking it's really really cool too really cool lots of beautiful scenery and old bridges old it's an old railroad is what it is so really cool we also played some baseball all kinds of stuff so I'm just sore all over <laughs> And we got a softball tournament on Saturday, so yeah, I guess I'm ready for that, you could say. Me and my brothers are playing a softball tournament, and one of my friends and his brothers. That makes up an entire team, so looking forward to that. So let's eat our lunch here, get on back to the shop.
gonna be cooling off here the next few days. I'm calling for some storms tonight. Supposed to cool off pretty nice over the next few days. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that uh, interview with my brother. I got another one coming up that I'm gonna be filming here in the next couple weeks with a local potato hauler. I actually have a few potato haulers on deck and you know they got there's a lot of nice trucks around here that haul potatoes. A lot of you guys know the Nolt boys. They are not gonna be the ones I'm filming by the way. Um, it's a few owner operators that I'm gonna be doing but I would love to get the Nolt boys eventually but I don't have a contact for them but yeah, if anybody knows them, send them my way, or maybe I can reach out to them eventually, because I would love to go up to their shop and have an interview with the with Virgil and the boys. I think that'd be pretty cool, even though I know one of them moved to Florida, but I would love to get Virgil and a couple of the boys together for an interview. I think that'd be pretty cool. They have some of the nicest old equipment. Uh, in the 717, I mean just really, really nice equipment, so we'll see if we can get that accomplished sometime, but for now, yeah, like I said, hopefully you enjoyed the one with my brother Dan, and then we're going to have, we got two other potato haulers on deck here, so, yep, we'll keep the interviews coming, appreciate the support on those, it's been really, really fun. Back to Lancaster here. Nearly got uh, two more to put on the back there. And then we can head on back, get this truck in the shop, get her uh, parked up for the night. Woo! Man, it's just hot out there, man. Woo! Oh, my GPS fell down. Stay up there. Now, kind of feed the wire up through the window there, and then if it falls down from the heat, it falls down and the wire comes down. All that fun stuff. Another truck here waiting to load. I think I'll make that by a few inches. We've got a full load here. The gauges show that we're right at our weight around there. Maybe a little bit under, but we do have a full load. gonna take you guys along tomorrow probably be running a load to first thing in the morning probably to uh, Millersburg but I'm thinking with all this footage today that's gonna get us pretty much a full video so probably end the video when we get back to the shop here here in a bit Is, uh, starting to sprinkle now. Anyway, the day cab is going to uh, Goods Glass tomorrow, and Roman's going to get bus glass on the windshield of the truck, so that's going to look really nice. They're going to install bus glass on the windshield, so he's getting a whole new windshield, two piece, you know, Peterbilt windshield, and a new visor. So, visor's not here yet, so he might be riding around 
for a few days without a visor, but either way, it's gonna look good. A new visor, not quite so, you know, loud or crazy looking as the one that's on there. I don't like the one that's on there, it's too big. I don't like the way it comes down so, you know, so hard. So, new visor, not quite as much of a, uh, uh, I don't know, wide end, if you will. Right now, you know, it's got the bow tie with such a wide end at the bottom. It's hard to see if you have any air in your seat, but, yep, new bus glass windshield and a new visor coming up on the uh, day cab. So we'll show you, I'll show that to you guys once it's done next week or here at the end of the week whenever it gets done. And there's the rain. Open up the windows. I can feel the cold front coming through. Nice, cool air, man. Feels great. Well, got our back in the shop. It is uh, nicely raining dark skies supposed to get one to two inches of rain tonight is what they're saying um, so I'm gonna drain this transmission fluid replace that I don't know if I have time for the differentials yet but I'm gonna do the transmission once and go from there I'm trying to use my phone for light here because I don't have uh, headlamp batteries died on me so right there's the drain plug we're in underneath here by the transmission there's the drain plug and right there is the fill plug up on the side so all you need is a half inch ratchet that thing in there and crank it loose if I could do this without burning my hand. Oh yeah. Take the breather one out as well. Look at that nice rain. So that's all we're gonna get done for today because I gotta get to my appointment so pretty much all drained now to what already we'll let it drip for a while got a little bit of trash on there just kind of normal wear looks pretty good so looks like everything's working good so I'm gonna get this filled back up and get on out of here and uh, on over to Smoketown for my appointment so thanks for watching guys I'm gonna end this video here and we'll see you next time Thank you.